Hello there, Coles here, and check out the new rig. Well, the motherboard, uh, the all-in-one water cooler and the CPU under, you know, the water block is new. Um, I got the case a couple of months back, as well as a new power supply which is hidden inside there, and the RAM as well. So, yeah, let's turn this on anyway. Oh, lol, it'll be funny if it didn't come on. Here we go. Alright, so now you can see the lights and stuff have come on as I've turned on. These are like the default settings. Um, they just kind of switch between modes, they like cycle through. So at the moment the all-in-one water cooler is just like fading between each colour. And then same with uh, the RAM, but it has like several colours on at a time, it's kind of rainbow-ish. And, yeah, and then the motherboard's just switching between colours also, as you can see. It's really cool. Alright, so we can open up Aura Sync, which is like uh, the software to sync all the RGB in here. Oh yeah, I should mention there's also RGB on the front here, but that is controlled with this controller. So you can change it to green or red. Yellow, orange, blue, white. I'll put on uh, different modes, which is pretty cool, and you can click that to change which mode. And there's a variety of different ones. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It took me a while to find out which case I wanted to get, because I'd been looking for quite a while. And this was definitely my favourite one. It's really good. Alright, it's the uh, Lian Lai 5 500X, in case you wanted to know. Alright, so now I've got Aura Sync open, and I will quickly show you my favourite setting. It's kind of a boring one, but... I just like it because it goes with the LED, the blue LED on my GPU. So I think it looks pretty good. And then you make the front blue as well. And you just get an all blue LED PC. Just It just looks great. Um, and then there's other cool settings like this breathing setting. Um, so it just kind of fades in and out the lights. Then there's colour cycle, which if you apply, it just cycles through all the colours. Then we also have the rainbow, which I can't even remember. I just, yeah, I think it cycles through the colours going back and forward. It doesn't look that great though. It's not really that obvious what it's doing. Yeah, on the rainbow saying you can like, and some of the others, you can change which order, uh, like the effects take place in. So obviously you kind of want it going left to right, so motherboard, uh, all in one, and then RAM. But on here, the all in one is considered an add strip, so that's fine. And then you can also change the speed that it changes, so if I turn it up and click apply, and it will go through the colours back and forwards faster. And uh, there's the Comet. This is actually one of my favourites also. Um, so I did actually record like, the whole build process on my GoPro, but then for some reason I just can't import the files and it just keeps, ah! it's just really shit, so I decided that I'm not gonna, you know, do that video. So I'm just doing a quick little video showing you the new PC basically. Uh, so this is Flash and Dash, this mode I'm on currently. Doesn't really do much. 
Let's wait for it. Yeah, that's it. it. Just flashes a few times every so often. Then there's wave, which I feel like it's going the wrong way. I feel like it needs to be going across like that. But it's like, does that one? It does that one, that one, then that one, which makes no sense. And you can't like change the sequence of it on this mode for some reason. Glowing yo-yo. We'll go to a different color. Try green. I mean, they're kind of similar. Then we have Starry Night. Oh yeah, this one's pretty good actually. If we make it kind of that colour. It just kind of twinkles a little bit every so often. might actually look good in like a kind of yellowy colour, perhaps. That kind of look like stars, I don't know, probably not, because it's too yellow. Maybe, I wish it was more of like a, a white colour. But I think that looks pretty cool anyway. Um, the next one is strobing. I always forget what this one is. So we go, let's go for... Red this time. Apply. Oh, so it just switches between which things lit up. And I always forget about the lights under here on this part. And then there's also the lights on the RGB. Not the RGB. <laughs> the lights on the uh, M.2 socket thing there. There's like underneath it. Um, and then we also have Smart. So this one's actually pretty cool. So it changes depending on the temperature of the CPU, I believe. So at the moment it is, if we click apply, then it's green up to 40 degrees. And, between, and then between 40 and 60 degrees it will, t it will turn yellow. And then beyond 60 degrees it will turn red. So... We can actually try this out. So it's currently on green, which is below 40 degrees. I don't know how hot we'll actually be able to get it. If we go on Cinebench, that should warm things up a bit. Alright, and we'll run a quick test. Let's see what colour the lights turn. Okay, so they've gone yellow. So we're above 40 degrees. But the CPU cooler should kick in and keep it below 60, like definitely. I don't think it will get, I don't think it will turn red. So my old CPU is there, it's the i5-6600K. I, I always got like a top score of like 600, 605 with it, that was like the most I could get. But that wasn't overclocked though, well neither is this yet. Um, so 1389 on that test, it went yellow and now it's gone back to green. But if we, what we could do is actually change that to 40, change the top one to 30, apply. So then, if we do the test again, and it should turn red. There we go, it's gone red already. Because we're above 40 degrees. So yeah, I think I'll probably do like some overclocking videos maybe for the CPU and the RAM at some point. And do some more like benchmark tests and things like that. I find it pretty fun to do to be honest. Alright, so that time we got a little bit higher, 1,394. Alright, so we don't need that anymore. Save, save, whatever, yes. And then, so the last one we have 
Oh wait, I'll quickly show you. There is actually a CPU load in one as well. So, depending on like the percentage of CPU that's like being used, will depend on you know what color it is. So, forty percent CPU usage. It'll be it'll turn yellow, and it gets to sixty. It'll turn red. So yeah, and then the last one is music. This one's really cool. So. It like changes, I don't know, like the rhythm of the uh, of of the lights like turning on and off and stuff. You'll see in a minute. All right, let's play Eminem's new song. I'll turn the volume up. I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna fast forward it a bit and put it later in the in the. Yeah, it's a really cool feature. The Aura Sync is pretty good, but the software is quite glitchy, which is a bit of a problem. Um. So yeah, I'm really pleased with the build. I think overall it looks really good, and the RGB is great. Uh. In terms of the new parts, the all-in-one cooler here, I think it looks really good, and it's really good build quality as well, as well as the fans and the tubing, and basically the whole thing. And it, and it seems to perform pretty well as well. You know, it's it's keeping the uh, the temperatures down. I wouldn't say it's the best cooler there is, but you know, it'll definitely do, and it's definitely you know you can definitely overclock with it and stuff like, like that. Um. The motherboard as well, the ATX, I think it was the Maximus X Hero, looks really cool as well, it's got the RGB parts, and like there, this is actually the Wi-Fi edition, um, I just thought I might as well get, get it with Wi-Fi as well, and you get three PCI X16 slots, which could come in handy. Is it comes with an SLI bridge, but I don't know whether I'm going to make use of that yet. It's got two M.2 slots, the one right in the front, well, on the camera now, and then one under the Republic of Gamers, uh, that metal bit there. So yeah, would I recommend this cooler? Yes, absolutely. It is honestly the best one I've seen, like the best looking one I've seen. Um, the Corsair ones are quite good looking. And pretty good and perform pretty well as well, but I think I think this is my favorite one, and I'm very happy with my purchase. So yeah, I think that is about it for this video. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.